people welcome to susan in family cooking tv from susan in family tv how are you all doing hope you are doing great as for me and my daughter we are doing super 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 great by his grace amen with good heads and long life god almighty has permanent for my daughter and me this day and forever amen and we wish you the same out there amen beautiful people welcome to another yummy cooking video from susan in family cooking tv so as you can see we are about to prepare another yummy delicious yummy food and also snacks so today we are going to be preparing a delicious yummy palm oil stew so it has been like i think over more than seven years <laughs> my daughter and me we have not prepared um, um palm oil stew so today i thought oh let me just like prepare palm oil stew because why i also want my daughter to also like taste and africa because the stew we are cooking is just a normal stew for everyone white africa to eat you know so with the palm oil stew we can also like taste the africa taste of stew and hands so that is what we are going to be preparing today so we have our ingredients so we already have our fried chicken we have our fresh pepper we have our sliced onions we have our curry we have our garlic grounded we have used we are using three pack of tomatoes we have our guinea fresh palm oil over there we have our our time over there we have um we are going to be making also buff buff so we have our self-rising flour so we don't need any uh, yeast for it because it's self-rising flour we have sugar for buff buff we have maggi for our stew we have salt for our stew so beautiful without wasting time let's get started so beautiful we are going to pour in our palm oil uh -huh. you know we are making palm oil stew but we don't eat too much stew so to me i think that is just enough <laughs> i don't want too much oil in our food making it's mostly stew anymore my daughter don't love too much oil in the stew so we are going to add in our fresh pepper uh, and onions and we are going to add our fresh pepper in no wasting time so we are going to go ahead and pour in our three liquid tomatoes so I'm going to go ahead and pour the tomatoes in the tree pack because of time. So the tomatoes is in now. So time for us to add in our ingredients. So we are going to add two cubes of maggi. Two cubes of maggi will be enough. <laughs> We are going to add our thyme. We are adding our curry. Oh, oh, need to lower the gas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomatoes is splashing. We are adding our grounded garlic. Garlic is in, but to come out. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. And we are just going to add a little salt. That's it. And we are going to pour in enough water to cook our stew. So this water is just enough. We are not adding more water. Let me go ahead and clean. Use one second fast to clean the tomatoes from the surface of the kitchen. I don't want it to stick on the kitchen. Haha, <laughs> 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 so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we are adding some cooking. <laughs> when I'm seeing like the food is like splashing everywhere, and you know, in the kitchen, I don't really like it. <laughs> I feel like, oh, I need to clean it. I need to clean it before I continue with the food. So, our uh, ingredient is already in. And I believe all the ingredients is just enough for us to make our stew. So I'm not going to add water. I'm just going to cover the stew. So maximum, like I think, <laughs> 17 minutes the stew needs to be ready. Because this tomatoes is already preserved. So we don't need to overcook the tomatoes. So maximum, even 10 minutes sometimes. 
the stew is already ready but maximum 17 minutes our stew will be ready so we are going to look in our stew in 10 minutes time so let's go ahead to make our puff puff so beautiful here we are we have what we are going to use to make our puff puff so we have our lukewarm water i took the lukewarm water from the tap sugar is there we are going to add onions so we are pouring in first thing we are pouring in is our self-rising flour uh -huh. so we don't need to add yeast you know buff buff is very easy buff buff is just made with three ingredients just the flour the yeast and the sugar then the water that means like four or you want to add other ingredients like I'm, as i'm going to add uh, and add uh, onions to eat so we also made a video before adding uh, adding uh, and um ripe plantain sliced ripe plantain so i think we made like two three videos already like adding sliced ripe plantain in the in puff puff so water is in and flour is in and sugar is in and we are just pouring in our onions so that's it so we need to mix the everything the ingredients so we are just going to check if maybe the water is not enough we had water that's why i didn't have too much water first you know depends when making buff buff depends how we want our buff buff to be thick if you want it to be thicker you put just hard little water but if you want buff buff to be like soft little softer you have little more water uh -huh. so that's why i just like added a little water first for us to see if we need to add more water to making of our buff buff so let me go ahead and mix it properly to see if we need water. Uh -huh. So I just mix it properly so you can see the difference. It's super smooth. Uh -huh. You can see the sliced onions in. Uh -huh. So I'm not going to add water. It's just perfectly the water I use. So we are not adding water. So we are going to cover it for maybe normal, maximum one hour. But with this self rising flour, oh, we can start to fry it direct. It's still going to puff. So, the only thing I'm going to do because I need to boil rice and start to clean our apartment. So, I'm just going to, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to allow it to rise for maybe. I know it's not going to like rise, but I'll just leave it for like maximum 20 minutes. Then we are going to come to frying our puff puff. So, let me put the rice in the fire and start to clean our apartment. So, meanwhile. Oh, the stew is there. So see you in some minutes time. So beautiful, you can see that buff buff is there. Just use a, a cover report, but you can also use aluminium when you want to cover the buff buff to rise. So I just said we should check on our stew. Haha, <laughs> looks yummy. So we are still going to allow it to our stew to fry. So let me go ahead and put rice on the fire and i do some cleaning let me start to clean our apartment so see you in some minutes time hope you are enjoying this cooking Aha, so beautiful it's already 17 minutes you know i told you that when it's 17 minutes i'm just going to help the guards so to me the stew is cooked we know i don't like need to like overcook stew before i know that the stew is ready I don't love to cook like all the ingredients out of the stew, like the tomatoes, like the onions, you can like chew it, uh -huh, not too soft, the pepper not too soft, uh -huh, chicken pudding in or fish meat not too soft, it's more like crunchy and yummy. Like my daughter says she wants, uh, mommy, you say you want chicken? Huh? She's, my daughter said before I put the chicken in the stew, I should give her one. She said... For us to share it, okay, thank you. She said, Mommy, come and tell She said she wants uh, she want the chicken because the chicken is croquant. That is like crunchy, mm -hmm. crunchy chicken. Uh -huh. So we are just going to put in now the chicken, the remaining chicken, and we off the gas. Our stew is ready. And the rice is over there. I put the rice. I just put the rice now. We are just going to move over. <laughs> to making a buff buff we don't need to waste time uh -huh. so the chicken is in so you know that once i put in if it's chicken we are using fish we are using meat we are using gizzard or <laughs> once i put it in you just know that it's just that i'm going to off the gas so the stew 
is ready so this is how to prepare a simple delicious palm oh yes stew so let's go ahead to make a buff buff uh -huh. so let me switch the gas off for the stew so the rice is still over there let's make a buff buff no wasting time so beautiful we are using uh oil fryer so we are just going to this out to take it depends how you want It to be thick or I want it to be go ahead and I see that it's two or three. I'm going to like <laughs> make it maybe a little bit. I don't think it's two or three. Because anytime we use the pan, I don't know, it doesn't like fry the way we want it to be. So we just had it up now, so let's wait for the buff buff to fry. So beautiful our first buff buff is ready. So I'm just going to go ahead to fry the other buff buff. I open the window flies disturbing so so that flies don't enter our video. So let me go ahead to fry the other buff buff. Aha, so beautiful people. Here we are. Our buff buff is ready. Aha, oh la la, we made our homemade buff buff. Delicious, smart, watery, palm oil is there and rice is ready. So beautiful. Hope you love this video. Thanks for watching. Faithful God Almighty who guides, protect and blesses my daughter and me this day and forever. More than me and my daughter, our expectation with good health and long life. God Almighty has permanent for my daughter and me this day and forever. Amen. We continue to do the same for you and your kids. Please subscribe. Subscription is free, please. Beautiful when you subscribe, please don't forget to press the notification bell that anytime my daughter and me will upload videos, you will be the first to be noticed. My daughter and me will do our best to bring to you entertaining, interesting videos. See you and my daughter with good health and long life. God Almighty has permanent for my daughter and me this day forever. Amen. And you and your kids, big hug for my daughter and me to your kids, Mama. Aha, my daughter says, see you next time on next video. Good at a long life. God almighty has permanent for my daughter and me. Amen. Enjoy your day. Remain blessed. And please do share. See you, my daughter, in our next video. Good at a long life for my daughter and me. Amen. And you and your kids. Ta-ta. Enjoy your day.